What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're back here in Helldivers 2 and we're going to be talking about my settings to get the best performance while still keeping quite a bit of fidelity here on the Steam Deck OLED while playing Helldivers 2. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our menu and take a look at our frames. So our current frames right now staring down this way. We're about 55, 56 peaking there-ish area. And we're going to make some changes so we can get that closer to 60. So we are pretty much running on low everything. So let's talk about our display real fast. We are at 720p and performance. We can go to ultra performance, but I, it's too, it's way too blurry for me. Um, so I'm at performance. Secondly, um, frame lim limit is going to be set to 60, even though we're not going to hit 60. I suggest setting it to 60. And then we're going to go to graphics. The graphics is a custom preset. It's going to be medium, medium, medium on both texture, quality, object, and render. Shadows and lowest, particles on low, reflection low, space low, ambient occlusion off, uh, screen space, global illumination off, vegetation low, terrain low. It's going to be potato mode, yo. Uh, fog low, clouds uh, lowest, lighting low, anti-aliasing off. So it's pretty much what I had before um, in my last test, um, but we are going to make some other changes that are going to make it quite a bit better. So now that we have all our settings like so, and I'll have this all, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll have this all list in the description below, we're going to exit this game and we're going to gain about you know, eight to ten percent by making some of these changes. So we're going to exit the game. So quit game. And now that we have our changes made, we're going to need to go to desktop mode because we are going to edit a config file. Um, I've only noticed maybe a one or two frame increase adjusting the config file. But considering we're fighting to keep 30 frames, one or two frames are is well needed. So next we're gonna go into our folders and I'll have this in the description below because it's it's pretty yeah, you know, it's 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 a long one. Um so you're gonna go under share steam slash steam slash steam app slash comp data slash five five three eight five zero slash pfx slash drives underscore c slash user slash steam user slash app data slash roaming slash arrowhead hell divers two and you're all gonna go through all those um folders so you can get the user settings config so once you get the users your settings config you're gonna be looking for two key things so first one's gonna be here i believe it's 93 and it's gonna be far fog uh, enabled so it should be false if you copied my exact settings, but if you didn't go ahead and change that to false Next um, you're gonna go down here to 164. I think uh, 165 okay, so it's gonna be Sun shadow map size and this is not necessarily gonna I believe make any changes on the ship, but it will make changes um more so when we are on the map and we're just going to go ahead and change this to 512 so it's going to be 512 over 512 and that's it that's all we have to do here click save and then you know put it away uh, actually we can just close that we can just close it because we hit save already let's just hit save again because you know we have a little bit of ocd we're going to close that and then we're going to return to game mode so one thing if you change any settings from low to medium on the graphics, this config edits will change. So keep that in mind. If you make any changes there, you will have to go back to desktop mode and make the alter alterate alterations there. Um, next is probably the most important thing to do here on the steam deck to play hell divers 2 and it's changing the launcher from dx12 to dx11 so the way you do that is you're going to click back here in hell divers 2 then we're going to go to our manage button the cog wheel we're going to go to properties and then we're going to go to general and we're going to go to the bottom and under launch options uh we're going to type in going to be um 
command percent um, space dx 11 space slash space minus sign minus sign is that dashes or minus sign? I don't even know use minus sign d3 d11 so what is this is going to do it's going to force it to run dx11 and not dx12 and that's all we're doing here so that's what you're going to do here um and i'll have this in the description it's going to be percent command um percent dx11 space dx11 space slash space minus minus use minus D three D eleven is it dash is it that are those that those are dashes one of that under those are dashes I'm so stupid uh, it's late it's late I'm, it's late okay so once we're done with all that make sure you have it all there um you're gonna go ahead and hit back and then you're just gonna click play boom we are back here and you can already see that the frame rate has increased quite a bit. So now we are at 5960 frames now. So remember our frame cap is set at 60. We're not even gonna hit 60, but we're at 59. We're at up four to five frames right now um, by just making those two changes here uh, in Helldivers 2. So first it's your settings, then you edit the config, and then you put DX11. You technically don't need to do the config, you could just do DX11, but if you want the best possible performance, I suggest doing both. Now let's get into the benchmarks.
you have it. That is the best possible settings for Helldivers 2 on the Steam Deck. Um, definitely very, very simple mod. You follow all my settings and you do the DX11 and the config, you're gonna get the exact same performance if you're OLED. And if you have the LCD, it's gonna be pretty much the same um, on the LCD too. Um, the only real difference between, it's maybe one or two frames at the most between the OLED and LCD, but the biggest issue is heat with the LCD Steam Deck versus the OLED. But let's talk about those benchmarks. So out of the gate, hard mode is playable. Maybe not for everyone, but definitely playable for me. We do see most of the time in the mid to low 30s and do get drops into the 20s quite a bit. Insane mode is insane if you think it's playable. That thing is a stuttery mess. Assets are popping out of nowhere. There's too many things going on on that map. There's too many enemies, too many everything. It's just really hard to play that and you're not going to be as effective playing it on the Steam Deck. You're going to probably let your team down like I did in the footage. We didn't make it. We didn't make it in that footage. What a real good experience was uh, level threes and four. It plays beautifully. You can even up the fidelity. You can go up to 800p. You can switch it from performance to balance, uh, maybe even quality on those. So, it's, you know, definitely for the longest time I was playing quality settings with 720p. And I really liked that with anti-aliasing on. It was a really fun experience in medium. But once you go to level four and level five, you, you can't really get away with that so much. So play with it. See what works for you. Um, I just know that insane mode is, does not work for me, but I don't play on insane mode. I'm not that good. Or my ass, my qui equipment is not that good yet. So I'm usually on hard or level four. I think it's intermediate. So I'm usually in those settings. So. I guess my question is, what settings do you play on? Is the Steam Deck something that you can play on? Uh, that's the real question. Helldivers 2, what a great experience on the OLED if you manage your expectations. Guys, if you like this type of content, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're going to do a bunch of other stuff. I want to try to test this thing out on Windows and other systems. And also, I'm going to look at a way to get 90 frames over Moonlight. Um, it's another a steam link type thing situation i've used it in the past but never on the steam deck so i'm gonna get figure that out so we can get 90 frames and probably be able to play insane at 720 or 800p at 90 frames that's going to be pretty freaking cool but that's for another video guys if you have any questions comments concerns if you know any settings that you think that could we could milk out a little bit more performance on the, the steam deck let me know in the comments below but other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.